never should have agreed to this road trip. But there I was, behind the wheel of my old sedan, driving down a desolate highway in the dead of night. The darkness seemed to swallow the road whole, with only the faint glow of my headlights to guide the way. My hands gripped the steering wheel tightly, my knuckles turning white with each passing mile. It all started when my friends and I decided to take a spontaneous trip to a remote cabin in the mountains. The promise of adventure and escape from the monotony of our daily lives was too tempting to resist. So, without much planning, we packed our bags and hit the road. As we drove deeper into the night, the silence inside the car grew heavy. The only sound was the hum of the engine and the occasional crackle of the radio. My friends had long since drifted off to sleep, leaving me alone with my thoughts. I glanced at the clock on the dashboard. It read 3.0 a.m. We had been driving for hours, and fatigue was starting to weigh on me. My eyelids felt heavy, and I struggled to keep them open. But I knew I had to stay focused. The last thing we needed was for me to fall asleep at the wheel. Suddenly, a thick fog rolled in, obscuring my vision of the road ahead. I squinted through the windshield, trying to make out any landmarks or signs, but everything was shrouded in a blanket of mist. Panic began to rise in my chest as I realized I had lost all sense of direction. The GPS on my phone had long since lost signal, leaving us completely at the mercy of the empty highway. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, I saw something in the distance. It was a figure standing on the side of the road, barely visible through the fog. My heart pounded in my chest as I approached, unsure of what I would find. As I got closer, I could see that it was a woman. She was dressed in tattered clothes, her hair wild and unkempt. Her eyes bore into mine as I passed, sending shivers down my spine. I tried to shake off the feeling of unease as I continued down the road, but the image of the woman lingered in my mind, haunting me like a ghost. Minutes turned into hours as we drove on, the fog refusing to lift. My friends stirred in the back seat, but I dared not wake them. They were better off asleep, unaware of the danger that lurked outside. Just when I thought we were doomed to wander the highway forever, I saw lights up ahead. Relief flooded through me as I realized it was a gas station. I pulled into the parking lot, grateful for the chance to rest and regroup. But as I stepped out of the car, I was greeted by an eerie silence. The air hung heavy with the stench of decay and the flickering lights cast long shadows across the pavement. I hesitated for a moment, my instincts screaming at me to turn back. But something compelled me to press on, to find answers in this desolate place. I pushed open the door to the gas station, the bell above jingling softly in the stillness. The interior was dimly lit, shelves lined with dusty cans and bottles. Hello? I called out, my voice echoing through the empty space. There was no response. I crept further into the store, my heart pounding in my chest. That's when I saw it. A figure hunched over behind the counter, its back turned to me. Excuse me, I said, my voice trembling. Can you help us? We're lost. The figure slowly turned around, revealing a face twisted in a grotesque smile. Its eyes gleamed in the darkness, sending a chill down my spine. You should never have come here, it hissed, its voice like nails on a chalkboard. I stumbled backward, my mien reeling with fear. I turned to run, but it was too late. The creature lung it at me, its sharp claws tearing through the air. I screamed as pain ripped through my body, darkness closing in around me. And then, there was
there was nothing but silence.